Now the novel Pride and Prejudice is celebrating 200 years in existence today. The book continues to be one of the best-selling classics here. Truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. And so begins Jane Austen's best-loved novel. Today, some very accomplished women were helping celebrate the book, which centres around the Bennet sisters and their trials and tribulations in their quest to find love and marriage. Pride will be always under good regulation. It sparked plays and movies, and 200 years on, it continues to be taught, including here at St. Louis in Rathmines, where the characters of Elizabeth and Mrs. Bennet still strike a particular chord. Her manners are belong to a past time, but her... Um, what she feels and what she thinks is pr pretty much the same as what young girls today would think and feel. There are the Mrs. Bennet characters that, you know, the, the mother that might be a little batty, but in the end all she wants is to do right by her children and find them people that will look after them. Um, but she might go about it in a very strange way. But even though her most famous novel is focused on marriage, she never wed. Jane Austen's first love was in fact an Irish man, Thomas Lefroy, who studied law here at Trinity College, but the relationship was short-lived. We are told that the Lefroy family may have uh, taken Tom back to Ireland because they didn't like the idea of the son of a prominent Anglo-Irish family marrying an impoverished clergyman's daughter. Uh, but much of that is speculation. Lefroy became Chief Justice of Ireland, but Austen became the best-selling novelist whose works continue to live on. Helen Donoghue, RTE News.